yet. <laughs> Something like 45% of votes have still not come in to be counted in Richmond. But as in Melbourne, if we are tracking, if those votes the way we're tracking now, it will be tough for us to win, but we're not going to make a pronouncement about that until we've seen those votes. But what we can say today is that we have run a better campaign, a bigger kind of campaign, a stronger campaign than ever before, and in the face of a conservative swing in this state, we have gained votes in the seat of Richmond, at least 4%. Woo! well-known local candidate. So the left in that seat has had a very strong result. Now, it might be enough to get us into Parliament, we don't know yet. But it has been enough to shape the debate in this seat in a way that I don't think we could have imagined a while ago. All those red posters that looked as though they should have been green. <laughs> The people of Richmond heard what we were saying and were interested. Three months ago, they put Adam Band in the federal parliament, and hasn't that scared them? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Got a debate on Afghanistan? Mm. Not entirely alone. Send the ground, sorry. <laughs> a debate on gay marriage, yeah. where people actually have to go out and talk to their constituents about whether it's a good thing or not. Got climate change being discussed as if it was real and it mattered. <laughs> and that was enough to send Labor Party people to their big business mates, to get them to talk to the Liberal Party, to ask them not to preference us, and the Liberal Party didn't. Now, nobody owes us their preferences, but we know that if the Liberal Party had done what they'd done in previous years, we would have three people in the House of Government yeah. in Victoria. <laughs> and the reason that would have happened would have been because of, I can't say the tireless work of our supporters, because people were tired. <laughs> <laughs> but the unstinting work. We knocked on thousands of doors. We talked to thousands of people. We put out thousands of leaflets. And people did it in their spare time, with their extra money, day in, day out. And I want to pay tribute to you today because you have given the people of Richmond a choice they have never had before. And for the first time, the people of Richmond have seen their values reflected back to them in an election campaign and that is because of the people in this room and in Richmond today. <laughs> now I don't want to keep talking for a long time and Brian has thanked many people specifically. But I just want to say, for me, how indebted I am to the people in this room who have worked tirelessly, generously, creatively, and who I know will keep working to get more councillors in in two years' time, who will make sure we get Adam back in some time, <laughs> who will get another senator for us next time we have a federal election and who in four years time will make sure we send someone, if we don't get them this time, into the House into the house of Government. So thank you. We are a relatively young party, but we are a party for this century. The community needs us, the environment needs us, we will be there to keep winning and thank you for making that possible. Woo